Thank you all for coming out. Appreciate it. Uh, good workout today. We beat the rain. We're a little worried about that early, uh, but everything worked out well. And you know, uh, you know, playing a real quality opponent this weekend. I got a lot of respect for Coach Hall and what he does and and how he runs the program. And we know we're going to have to. He'll play well this weekend. That's why one of the things in football is so important is moving on. You know, sometimes you sit back and look at past successes or past failures, and you're you're not going to be as good as you can possibly be in the in the present. So we we uh, we just move on to the next next deal, and we're we're excited about this opportunity Saturday at three. Anybody got any questions? What can you say about Brian? We're hoping he's going to be able to play this weekend. Find out Tuesday. So we'll find out this week if he's going to be able to play or not. He's doing more and more, looking better and better. And time's a good thing. Did a bunch of throwing, you know, ran some unit and did some other things. You know, so uh, did all his drill work. So we'll just have to see. You know, we get to Thursday, Friday. We got to see if he can do the things we need him to do and protect himself. You know, and if he can, we'll play him. If he can't, we won't. If you didn't tell me enough, there'd be no consideration of saving until conference schedule or anything like that. No, you know, if he's if he's if he's healthy to play, we're gonna play him. You know, if he's if he if he's gonna have a hard time, you know, uh, you know, I've heard people say, Oh, you just get rid of the ball quick, hand the ball off, all that way, well, you're not running most of your offense and then what happens if a guy you know, goes and blocks the guy to the right instead of the left. I and mean, you got a guy coming in and barreling in on him. So you got to, guy's got to be able to protect himself. You know, that's an important part of it. Is, is it a slippery slope if the guy is, wants to play and he's not just Yeah, but that, that's, that's my choice. You know, I'm going to make the decision on it. You know, he, he'd love to play. I mean, he's a competitive dude. I, I could have, uh, would have taken me about five seconds to talk him into playing last week. You know, <laughs> it wouldn't have taken much, you know, but he was not ready to play, so. We saw that on Thursday and Friday. If he isn't able to play, how much confidence did last week's performance give you a tight one? I thought the Kai did some really good things. You know, it's always hard. You know, you're, you know, it's kind of similar to when he got his first start as a college football player, playing the number three or four ranked team in the country when he played, had to come out here and play against Cincinnati. So, but I, I thought he did a lot of good things. He, you know, games are different than practice. You try to simulate game-like experiences in practice as much as you can, but it's not the same. You know, you're not, you're not tackling, you're the speed of the games, you know, that much faster. But I, I thought Kai did some very good things. What kind of different impressions maybe did you get after you went to the film for Saturday? You know, I thought we, uh, you know, there just was some plays, some drop balls some missed tackles that were easy tackles, you know, uh, uh, missed some receivers at times, missed some cuts at times, missed some assignments. It seemed like everybody had about one, maybe two. You know, so we just got to clean that up. You know, we, we did not, we, we didn't play our, our best game Saturday, you know, but, uh, you know, we were still in a, in a in position to, to, to win the game if we, executed down the stretch. Uh, we've got to do a better job coming out at halftime. You know, we didn't do a good job of that week one or week two. You know, so we got to do a much better job coming out in the third quarter. Any, any thoughts on the, I know it's second guess yourself when the cows come out, but on the onside kick in the You know, it's, it's uh, oh yeah, when it doesn't work, I second guess the crap out of myself. But, uh, you know, it was a, uh, you know, it was three minutes. It was kick deep, 250. It was uh, onside kick. We had 256 on the clock, two timeouts. So I went ahead and did it. And if we, we would have executed it, our, our outside guy thought he was going to get blocked, and he didn't. If he just sprinted, he, I think the ball would hit him in the chest. You know, so, uh, yeah, it didn't work. I wish we hadn't done it. Oh, we were minus three, turnover takeaway. Hard to win when you're minus three. You know, uh, uh, you know, 
I thought we, uh, you know, that was, that was a big part of the game. You know, we had, had a pick six in there, someplace. So we just, you know, we started off well, didn't play very good in the second half. You know, but uh, minus three turnover takeaway, you got a, it's a tough time winning those kind of games. You know, we, 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 uh, they've got two really good backs. Uh, I think another guy's actually their leading rusher right now, but Frank Gore Jr. has had an unbelievable career there at Southern Miss, and a uh, big part of uh, their offense is running the football. You know, we just got to play with leverage, and we got to tackle. We did, we did a nice job of it last week. That was a back who's had a lot of yards, and uh, I thought we did a good job of just not letting the ball, you know, cross our face. and, and uh, you know, our missed tackles seem to be more on receivers than it did on running backs. Of course, they, they celebrated quite a bit here last year when they, yeah. when they won that game. You uh, made to your players how important the other side thinks this game is. Well, we, you know, we think it's important too, and, and uh, you know, I, I know they do. It's uh, you know, a, a lot of uh, history involved in this game between Tulane and, and Southern Mississippi. But, you know, I, I play every game. You know, I want to win every one of them. So this one's the next one. And we want to play great this weekend. I don't think we've played great so far. And, and uh, you know, I'm always chasing that elusive perfect game. And it's out there someplace. And someday we're, we're going to get it. Everybody good? Thank you. Thank you.